If you want to know some great tips for fishing water that's 80 degrees or more and you're fishing for bass, check this out. The biggest thing to know, regardless of what the water temperature is, is that it's not the single most important factor. There's many, many other important factors that weigh just as heavily as the water temperature does. You know, a bass spends 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year in the water. Okay, so, you know, the, the moon phase, what the wind's doing, what the sky's doing, all those other factors weigh very heavily. Is the water level rising? Is the water level, level dropping? There's so many other factors that you can't say the water's 82.7 degrees, I need to throw this. So know that number one. But here are some very important general things that go on when the water is 80 degrees plus. The, number one, the bass aren't going to be the most active that they are throughout the year. I feel like that's in, in a little bit cooler water temperatures than it is in that 80 plus degree range. The higher it gets on that spectrum, actually the more sluggish they do get. That water starts getting up 87, 88, 90 degrees. Those fish actually act more like they do in the winter time than they do when they're in, you know, water that's 68, 70 degrees. They're, it's past their peak. They're, they're in a almost a retracted mode once the water gets, gets that warm. You really have to make those fish react to bite or you have to give them a really big meal, something that's certainly worth their energy. So for me, fishing that time of year, when that water's, that water's warm, if I'm fishing a lake with big fish in it, I'm gonna use a big bait. I wanna give those fish a big meal. The water is warm, their metabolism is fairly high, and I wanna give them the option to bite something that's really big. So that's what I'm gonna use if I'm trying to target big ones. If I'm just trying to target bites, I'm gonna fish something kinda of on the opposite end of that spectrum. So never the stuff that's super small like I'll use in the winter time, but something in the four to six inch range, you know, a, a straight tail worm, something without a whole lot of action built into it, or like I said, trying to make those fish react to something. Dropping a, you know, a, a, a punch rig right in, their, right in their face if they're in heavy cover. Reeling a crankbait really fast, bouncing it across wood or rock cover. Those type of baits that you can trigger reaction strike from the bass with versus a feeding strike. That's what most of those fish are gonna be in that really warm water temperature.